hey libra welcome to your july 2020 general reading this reading will apply to libra sun moon rising and venus signs if the messages here don't resonate with you then i would highly recommend you go check the videos for your sun moon rising and venus signs okay i'm gonna move the microphone a little bit closer because my neighbor is apparently having a techno party by himself and he's blasting the music so i want to make sure you guys can hear me and it's not too distracting okay so let's get into it for libra sun moon rising and venus signs for the month of july if you're new to my channel comment your birthday down in the comment section represent for libra gang and let's see what july has in store for you universe please show me what is the energy you see for libra in the month of july spontaneous and intuitive creation so a little bit of manifestation happening here sorry about the lighting maybe that helps you can see the card a little better so something you're manifesting something here in the month of july libra we're gonna see what that is what's manifesting here for you in the month of july when we clarify listen to your heart everyone is getting this card honestly in july listening and following your heart okay Get some more here all right bondage are you feeling stuck libra are you trying to manifest a way to get out of some situation um but you're not sure how to do it okay universe is trying to give you a clue here and say listen to your heart listen to how you've been feeling your feelings are real and you know you you definitely feel a way about something but i feel like because you're an air sign like myself i'm a gemini um you're having a hard time rationalizing it right you know us as air signs we tend to not listen to our heart we tend to listen to what our brain is telling us and um a situation may have manifest here where you feel kind of stuck you're not sure how to deal with it or vice versa so we're going to clarify that and get you some messages here that will hopefully help you make your decision okay also libra i'm gonna be uploading uh, monthly videos where i do mini readings and um basically you guys will just submit your questions to me and i'll be doing those mini readings on my youtube channel so i'll definitely make sure to keep everyone's privacy priority you know i'm not giving away too many details just your name and the answer to your questions so if you want to submit a question to me that i'll do a mini reading on for you you can join my patreon the link is going to be down below in the description and submit your questions there okay so um definitely i would just say you know if, if you have a few questions just mark off which one you think is the you know the, the most important one you want to know because i'm going to do like one per person depending on how many how many patreons i have but um yeah send me your questions through patreon and you'll get a mini reading from me okay plus many more goodies that i haven't decided yet what i'm doing but it's 333 a month good way to show your support in less than 40 dollars a year <laughs> all right so three more cards please for libra and then we're gonna start to read and clarify three more cards for libra that one almost wanted to come out but it did not a little apprehensive like you're feeling possibly in the month of july apprehensive about something that has suddenly manifested into your life creativity you're gonna have to get a little creative here libra i don't think you have a problem with that but you're dealing with the situation that's manifested in july that you're not really sure how to deal with and you feel stuck and you're gonna have to think outside of the box it's not going to be very black and white how how you you know you tend to like things to be this is going to be a little gray so you're going to be in a situation where you don't know what to do or what to choose but let's see if we can help you out here remember this is for july but you know time is fluid so either it's happened or it hasn't happened yet inspired warrior great so this is now saying that you are going to come up with some sort of solution here this is you being brave all right and that's coming out of you know you're you're in a situation where you're stuck a little bit but then you're going to regain your strength okay you're going to get some sort of spark right with the creativity here this is going to spark some sort of like inspiration for you and help you go into quote-unquote battle 
with whatever is manifesting here. It's very spontaneous and unexpected. You weren't expecting it. If you can see here, this is like this water dragon that's coming toward you and you, you, you feel like frozen with fear. You're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Where did you come from and how do I deal with you? You're going to have to be brave and face it, okay? Don't try to run from it. Don't try to ignore it. You got to face what's coming your way here in July. One last card and then we're going to clarify. Oh. Resolution. Very good. So this is again how you're going to bring resolution to the situation here by standing up, being brave, facing it head on, um, thinking outside of the box and addressing it and, and putting a resolve to the situation. So it's definitely going to involve you having to think outside of the box, you having to be brave and possibly working together with someone else or you know not necessarily but there's there's a need to, to to bring a close to a situation so you have dragons in both so whatever has manifested here you have to be the one to resolve it okay so let's start to clarify please tell me about this spontaneous um and intuitive creation what's going on here what is this manifestation you have two cards about creation and creativity you have the king of cups here we'll keep him there for now could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio someone this person could have manifested into your life okay or you want to manifest this person into your life absolutely scorpio as you can see with the death card there something could have ended you know with someone oops sorry about that that's new york city for you super super noisy but anyway you know either this could be saying one or two things some somebody has manifested into your life could very much be a scorpio or there's some sort of dramatic change happening involving another person um someone could be saying that they want to bring a situation to an end um or there's a need to try and make some sort of major transformation here um in your life in the month of july why listen to your heart? Why is listen to your heart here? Why is listen to your heart here? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like whatever it is here that you're dealing with, it definitely has to do with something that you 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 believe is of value to you or you know it could be like family friends home um you're trying to find a way to bring a resolution to a situation here for sure because you really really value this person or you value what they bring to your life in some kind of way and you feel a little bit torn about it honestly you feel torn about some of these changes that are coming into your life in the month of July. This could have to do with your family, your home, your money, your finances. Um, but universe is telling you to listen to your heart and, and fight for what is valuable to you, Libra. If this is of value to you and, and something or someone is trying to come in and take it from you or they're trying to bring too much change into your life and you're not comfortable with it then you need to acknowledge those feelings don't ignore those feelings why is bondage here for libra why is bondage here why is bondage here for libra my cards why is bondage here for libra The three of wands. You know, the three of wands talks about your ships coming in, but I don't think you were expecting these ships. It's all, it keeps giving me that energy of like something unexpected is happening, manifesting into your life, and you weren't expecting it. And this definitely has to do with the 3D realm or like your home or your life or your family. This is going to affect all of that. And you need to find a way to bring resolve to it okay if there's some sort of dramatic change that's happening around you maybe you don't want to fight it maybe you want to welcome that change in which is why it's saying to be creative think outside the box you know you may be resistant to this change 
um, because you weren't expecting it and you feel kind of like it's been forced upon you. And I know we've done a few readings like that in the past where, you know, changes happen and, and Libra's been a little bit reluctant or vice versa. You're trying to impose some sort of change here and someone's being reluctant, but someone definitely feels a little trapped and caught off guard with all of the the spontaneous manifestation that's been happening around them or happening around you why is creativity here there's your card libra okay again with the creativity and the two of swords this is talking about not you know you have all this heavy energy of feeling trapped not doing anything being stagnant all right i know you're gonna want to think for a while and take that time and possibly close yourself off and guard yourself because you're going to feel very much on guard like you have to protect yourself in some kind of way which is why the inspired warrior is coming out here where you need to stand your ground and protect yourself from these changes that are trying to enter your life um but i feel like you know this is also going to inspire you it's going to teach you how to adjust in life and how to evolve and how to handle these these changes that you don't see coming because that's what life is about life is always going to be about you know unexpected things coming your way or, or, or endings and new beginnings pretty much you have a lot of cards signifying some sort of ending is happening and you know instead of closing yourself off or trying to resist it you have to face it clarify inspired warrior please for me Please clarify, Inspired Warrior. Wait, oops, 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 oops. Please clarify, Inspired Warrior. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, trying to figure out how to deal. You have two twos here. And twos indicate choices. You have choices here. All right, you have options here. It's all up to you, but you have the power ultimately to decide how you're going to react to these changes. How are you going to deal with this unexpected energy that's coming your way? Now, it will be different for every person. So you may be thinking like, okay, well, what is this unexpected energy? It's going to be different for every person. It could have to do with an actual person here, someone, you know, that you were involved with. It could, you know, be an ending of a relationship scorpio vibes are super strong here you may want to go check out the scorpio video um this could also relate to some sort of death and i hope that's not the case for you libras where you like a male figure or a father figure a grandfather someone in the family has passed um but i just feel like it's more of unexpected news or things coming at you in july that you you were not prepared for but you got to get prepared for it. you're going to have to make those decisions you know am i going to close myself off and you know stay alone until all the situation goes away or am i going to face it head on and that's where resolution comes in clarify resolution please the three of swords is here talking about you know some sort of sadness or heartbreak could be dealing with a cancer that card came out as well here the chariot was coming out trying to find a resolution with a cancer or a water sign please clarify a resolution here please clarify a resolution there we go and another two look at it two 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 you've got decisions to make here libra you work good with two indicating the scale black and white balance as well this is gonna the re this resolution is gonna all come down to how you choose to action on it how you choose to handle it what decisions that you make all right but you have the power here this is you know though though these changes have come unexpectedly don't let it feel like it's robbed you of your power of control in some sort of way because you still have um some sort of power of control to make these decisions okay the, the choice is yours how you want to handle it how do you want to move forward how do you want to overcome it that, that that choice is yours and you have that power you have you're going to have the strength to move forward and make those choices all right so libra there's a lot going on in the month of july and i really hope that this was able to give you some sort of clarity 
If you want to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below. It's just readstarot.com. Um, also, if you want to submit your questions for the monthly mini readings, you can join my Patreon. That link is also down below. So Libras, I love you guys. Take care and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.